Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my chocolate covered pretzels. These are actually very easy to make and they um, are great for like party favors. So if you're having a party and you just want to have something else sweet and salty, it's really good. Quick peek at my um, table that I am making for my kids' birthday today. It's supposed to be Minecraft. It's not the best kind of Minecraft, but it's what I came up with. This is supposed to be like a Minecraft pull apart cake, but I didn't have the heart in me to make the frosting darker. So that's why you can't really tell that it's a Minecraft face, a creeper face, but you know what? It's what my boys wanted, so it's what they get. So let me show you guys how I make these. So here are the things you're going to be needing to make your chocolate cup pretzels. Of course, you're going to be needing a bag of the um, pretzel rods and then um, a bag of chocolates uh, to melt. So I use chocolate melts. There's like no specific brand I use. I get them from like a, a dispenser from Winko. They sell it by the pound. So I really like these, but you could just use like regular chocolate melt. I like this one that I use because I feel like it melts um, a little easier than the um, chocolate melts that you get from like Walmart or Target. Um, and then the, the thing that I feel is important, the secret to making your um, chocolate cup chocolate covered pretzel looks nice is you use these little what do you call these little boxes that Wilton makes so then um, you put your melted chocolate in there and then you dip your pretzels in that's what makes it nice makes it um, easy for you to get your pretzel to look nice and even so that's what I'm going to be using um, I get this from just like um, Walmart or Target you can get it from like Joann's also or you can just get it from Amazon and get everything from Amazon. And then just like the random things you can use as the toppings, I'll be using like some chocolate sprinkles. These are just like some chocolate flakes. Um, these are just sugar sprinkles. And then I'm going to do some white drizzle. So melt some white chocolate, drizzle it over, and then put some um, pearls on top. So put your chocolate into a bowl and you're gonna um, melt it in the microwave. So the thing that you want to do is um, every about like every 15 to 30 seconds, um, you want to take it out and stir it so that it does not burn. Towards the end, when it's starting to be more melted, you want to only wait like every 15 seconds um, when you stir it. If you don't constantly stir it when you're melting in the microwave, it's gonna burn, and then you're not gonna get a nice, um, a nice smooth chocolate to um, dip in. So I'm waiting about 30 seconds. In the beginning, it's fine because it takes a little longer to melt. But towards the end, don't wait any longer than 30 seconds. So you're gonna just take your spoon and just stir it. I'm kind of doing this funky because I'm trying to hold the phone and show you guys how to do this. But you see how the chocolate is still not very melted, but it started to melt on the bottom. Oh, you can't really see it. But anyways, stick that back in another like 30 seconds but like I said every 15 to 30 seconds start towards the end you want to wait every 15 seconds to start this is like a chocolate should look when you're all done it took me about like I'm gonna say about three minutes maybe more to melt it like this so now we're going to pour this in into a little Wilton box okay so my chocolate, no melted chocolate, it's in my little bin. So this is what I do. I kind of angle it, let, it, let the chocolate kind of come a little to the corner. And then I take my pretzel, dip it in, and then just swirl it around. Just like that. And then once the um, pretzel is all covered in chocolate, I kind of pick it up and then shake it as I'm pulling it out because you don't want all of the excess chocolate. It's a little hard to do in the beginning because there's so much chocolate. So kind of just shake it. I kind of use the corner to kind of like wipe these um, extra chocolate off, so sorry. I'm trying to do this as I record. I'm not doing a great job. So there's a chocolate pretzel. So at this point, I am um, Sprinkle. I pour whatever toppings I want to put on it. So these are my chocolate flakes. Alright. 
as you can tell, I have a plate in the bottom to catch the pieces that doesn't make it on. This is just so I don't waste it. So, there we go. So there goes my chocolate rod. And then I just, this is just, um, you can put it on top of parchment paper, but this is just uh, my silicone mat. It, um, anything that's not stick, aluminum foil, anything that's not stick so that it doesn't, when you uh, take off your chocolate rods later, it can just peel off. So you just continue that with all the other toppings. So it can make a few more. <clears throat> so pour your chocolate to the corner. Turn your chocolate rod around, pick it up, shake off the excess chocolate as you're taking out the um, rod, kind of use the corner to scoop the extra chocolate off, and there you go, okay? Ooh, okay. I don't have my other toppings ready, which is great. I'm using rainbow sprinkles because I'm having a birthday party tomorrow for my boys. Ivan is 25 this coming Monday. And then Jaden will be turning 3 in another month. So I always have the birthday parties together because the birthdays are so close to each other. I, I'm making a big mess. Anyways, there you go. There goes the chocolate sprinkle. And then you put that there, and then you just continue doing the rest, doing the same thing to the rest of the chocolate rods. Okay, now I'm making this with the chocolate sprinkles. Same concept, just pour the sugar sprinkles all over it. There you go. Okay, now we're going to do the toffee. Oops, I just got chocolate everywhere. All right. And these are just toffee bits that I'm putting, pouring over. You can always like um, swirl all around, but I just like to get the top. Toffee bits are a little bit more tricky because it's heavier. So it kind of, as you can tell, um, falls down the sides. But that's okay. What I do is I just pick it up and kind of just pat it on the top to try to keep it on. And then what I also do sometimes is if I'm laying it down, if I feel like there's some uh, like naked areas that I feel like needs more toffee, I just take the toffee and then I just put it on myself instead of like throwing it over. So I love toffee, so I always make toffee ones. But toffee gets a little bit messier because it's heavier. But there we go. Okay. Let me pick that up and show you. So, not my prettiest one because I'm trying to do this with one hand. But you get my point. It'll look better when it's dry. <laughs> so let me show you what to do if you pick up your pretzel and it's got all of these leftover chocolate on it, you just slowly take it off. And then go down it underneath it so that you try so that you can try to get like a nice shaped pretzel. So I just try to shave off all of the sides so that it's it looks more nice and even, okay? So now I'm gonna show you guys how I um drill of these pretzels. Okay, so you're going to take some melted white chocolate in a Ziploc bag and then just take a scissor and cut a little slit. Alright, and then 
we're going to drizzle these, okay? So, really simple. Let's go back and forth, just like that. On to the next one. So, let me show you what you can also do. You could take some pearls. Oh, I'm trying to zoom in on this. And then, if this is a focus, you can just one by one, just drop it in so that it's like touch. It's um, it needs to try to stick on the drizzles that you just put in. So that's what I'm trying to carefully do. This part takes a lot of patience. Okay, almost got the whole thing. All right. Up this one so you can see so there we go and then I'm just going to continue drizzling the rest I mean you could just keep, keep it the way it looks with the drizzles like it doesn't look terrible with just regular drizzles but if you want to take it the extra extra step you do it with the pearls